Hey, Anthony, Frank was talking about the discrepancy at the free throw line in the second half. What did you think? Why did that play out? Why did the Clippers get to the line so often in the second half? And why was that a difference in the game? I mean, we were in a penalty with, I think, like eight minutes left in the fourth. And we wasn't attacking. We shot a lot of jump shots. But, um, you know, they wanted more. We had a lot of mistakes down the end of the game, um, mental mistakes on both ends of the floor. Uh, you know, we fouled a lot in that fourth quarter, put them to the line. Uh, really, in the second half, uh, you know, they made shots and, you know, um, you know got some stops. So, um, you know, we gave that one away. Big discrepancy, too, just in, in offense in the first half and in the second. I think you're in the 60s and then in the 40s in the second half. What did you see offensively in that second half, AD? I said we missed shots. We were rushing, rushing a lot of shots. Um, we had some good looks wide open. I mean, Kuz had one, KCP had one at the end. Um, we just missed them. I think they were a little bit rushed, but, you know, we all had shots. Like I said, we wasn't um, – I don't think we were too aggressive, you know, especially being in the penalty with eight minutes left. Um, you know, that's the time where we got to be ultra aggressive to get to the line. Um, defensively, what was working for you guys at the start, and, and how were the Clippers able to respond, do you think? Uh, we were talking. We were communicating. Uh, um, you know, we were in all our coverages, and – you know, towards the end, we, we messed up on some coverages and they made us pay. Um, you know, like I said, we were filing, um, wasn't being solid, and you know, they get to, get to the line, um, you know, early in the third, and was able to you know cut their lead. Um, so it kind of gets away from how we play, which is fast. Um, you know, anytime they're in the line, it you know kind of slows the game down. So you know, we weren't able to get out and run like we did in the first half, and. Um, I say they they came out in, in that second quarter. I mean that second half and, and was aggressive uh, getting to the line. Paul George especially and was able to cut that lead down. Anthony, it's the same result as, as opening night. But is, is there any ways where you felt like your guys' overall impact or, or effectiveness against them uh, has developed since opening night? Um. Yeah, I mean we did some good things, but you know, like I said, we 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 gave that one gave that one away. Um, you know, we had the game. Uh, we were in control of the, the entire game. Um, you know, even though we let them get back in it, you know, we were still, you know, lead, you know, I think about seven with uh, about six minutes to go. Um, that's a game that you got to close out. So, uh, like I said, we gave that one away. You know, they, they made some big plays. Um, we had some miscommunication on defense where, you know, Kawhi, you know, got a couple threes. Um, you know, we didn't, you know, box out a couple plays and they were able to get the rebounds and, and uh, make us pay for it. So, um, we got to do a better job in those areas. AD, the game that you guys are up by 15 in that third quarter, and then by the end of the third, start of the fourth, it's tied. What happened in that stretch? Um, turnovers. Like I said, they got to the line. Um, the game was definitely slowed down. He wasn't able to play with pace because they were able to get to the line. So we got to do a better job of, you know, not fouling and you know being able to keep our pace high. Um, and. You know, going to the fourth, you know, a tie game, and we still had to lead, you know, lay down the stretch, and we um, got to be able to close those games out. Last two questions. Um, you had a couple possessions where you matched up with Kawhi. Um, how, how do you feel like you did defensively against him in, in those? Uh, I feel like I did fine. I mean, it was a couple of possessions where, um, you know, we had a couple of miscommunication on my end, and uh, he was able to get a three uh, over Dwight, and then, um, you know, got to be a step into him. Uh, a little bit more, and he got a, a rise up three in the first in the first quarter. Um, but for the most part, you know, I was able to um, the shot of force him to his left, uh, not let him get right, you know, for his uh, you know one dribble, two dribble pull up. Um, but you know, it's, it's a team defense, not one on one. You know, I think our entire team, um, you know, did a good job, good job for the most part. But we, you know, once again, fouling and um, you know, offensive rebounds kind of killed us. And you know, he had a couple rise up threes in front of our defenders. And you know, that's the one thing that we don't want to do. You know, when we're on a, on an island with a player like that, is give him you know rise up threes or let him get middle. And um, you know, we kind of struggled in that department tonight. This is now uh, four straight losses. Um, what do you? How do you prevent? You've obviously played some really good teams during that stretch. How do you prevent that from becoming something that gets into your heads and? You know, I think we got back to our defensive, you know, intensity tonight. Um, you know, which we which we were struggling in the, the other three losses that we had, we wasn't playing any defense, and I think we got back to it tonight. Um, I say we just some plays offensively where, you know, we came down here three turnovers in a row, um, late game, which we can't have, so we need to get shots at the rim. Um, but you know, we get those possessions back, and you know, no telling what the game is. So, you know, we got to be able to execute down the stretch, but. Um, 
the one thing I do like that we got back to our uh, tenacity on defense, and um, that's going to help us win a lot of games.